app development roadmap 2025. In this video, I will not be throwing numbers or theory at you. This is a real no fluff strategy for anyone who is serious about turning their app idea into reality this year. We'll break down the four main paths you can take, what they will cost you, the pros, the cons, so you don't waste time, money or momentum. If you want to get your app live and give it a real shot at success, this is where your roadmap begins. I am Parget Tilla, CTO and co-founder at CodeBrew Labs. Over the last decade, we have built and launched apps in almost every industry. Fintech, edtech, marketplaces, logistics, over 10,000 startups. And I've seen founders succeed by taking the smart, lean path. And I've also seen startups burning fifty dollars to $100,000 and still not getting any product. So in this video, I'll break down the four most effective ways to build an app in 2025 and who each is best suited for. Firstly, you can use AI tools to write your code. Second, you have the option to use template-based SaaS platforms. Third, you have the option to hire a full-blown custom development team. And fourth, you can buy and customize a pre-built base app solution. I will give you real-world costs, tools, strategies, and the path I would recommend to 80% of the successful startups that we work with. Path one, building your app with AI tools. Let's start with what has changed in the last 18 months. Building your app with AI tools, or what is called white coding. Tools like Cursor, GitHub Copilot, Replit, and Lovable. They let you describe your idea and AI writes your code. For front-end UI, tools like Lovable and Cursor help you generate pixel-perfect interfaces directly from your prompts or screenshots. For back-end logic, tools like Replit, Cursor, and GitHub Copilot empower tech teams to scaffold secure and scalable architecture with AI assistance. For APIs and databases, platforms like Superbase and Prisma help you auto-generate schemas, handle authentication, and manage data flows with minimal manual setup. If you're technical, this can be a very powerful way to build your own MVP without hiring a developer. But here's the truth. Most non-developers will hit a wall pretty quickly with APIs, authentication, backend logic, and security. So if you're a solopreneur experimenting, validating an idea, or just building for fun, this might be a great starting point. I would recommend exploring this path. Each tool would cost you $20 to $50 a month, making it a very affordable way to bring your app idea to life. But if you're non-technical, you will still need to hire developers and engineers to plug in the gaps. In fact, we have seen clients start with AI tools, but end up spending $8 to $12,000 hiring developers to fix bugs, to clean up the code, and to make the app production ready. So while Vibe code is revolutionary, it is not always turnkey. It's a great launch pad, but it's not the complete runway. Path to no-code, template-based app platforms. If your app idea fits a common pattern, like marketplaces, CRNs, or e-commerce, then platforms like Shopify, Glide, ShareDrive, or Bubble can let you launch without writing any code. You can drag and drop, set up payments, and go live within days. But here's the trade-off. You don't own the platform. You are logged into their pricing, their limitations, and their roadmap. Custom features, AI integrations, those get tricky. And the fees can stack up fast, especially if you're making real revenue. For a business doing $100,000 a month in revenue, that could be two to $5,000 per month in fees. SaaS is like renting a polished workspace. You are productive, but you will never own the property. Path three, hiring a custom development team. Now, if your app is your business, it is investor facing, or the tech needs to be truly custom, then you're probably looking at hiring a development team. This used to mean six to 12 months in timeline and up to six figures in budget. At CodeBrew Labs, for custom app development, we work with business owners and entrepreneurs with an AI-assisted development approach, combining the skill of our elite engineers with tools like GPT-4, V0, and Copilot. This speeds up the delivery and reduces cost, but we still end up writing 70 to 80% of the mission critical code ourselves. The cost range can go from $40,000 to $80,000, depending upon your complexity and the timeline being three to six months. So if you're planning to raise funds, you will need to make sure that you own your IP and you have a scalable investor ready product with custom app development. Path four, buying and customizing a pre-built app. This is the most common and honestly the most practical approach. This is what we recommend to 80% of the founders that we work with and it is my personal favorite. Instead of building from scratch, you start with a pre-built solution. Marketplace, Uber style, OTT, consultation or whatever your use case might be. 
you get full ownership of the code, backend and IP rights. Then you customize it with AI features, your brand, your flows, and then launch within weeks, not months. Think of it like buying a fully built house and renovating it to your own taste rather than laying the bricks yourself. The costs can range from five to seven thousand dollars for the base, and you can budget ten to fifteen thousand dollars additional for the customizations. This approach, in my opinion, is the best for funded and unfunded founders who want to move fast with control. Here is how I usually break it down for the founders. If you're trying to validate fast and stay lean, then customizing a pre-built solution gives you the best mix of speed, cost, and ownership. If you're trying to do something unique, go custom, but plan it right. No matter which path you choose, the key is knowing why you're choosing it. There is no one size fits all, but there is a smart way to move forward. And it depends on your goals, timelines, and budget. If you want help figuring that out, I invite you to a 30 minute call with me or someone from my team. We'll walk you through the best fit for your idea and help you avoid the costly mistakes we have seen too many founders make. There is also a free guide you can download, the 2025 App Development Roadmap. You'll find the link below. I'm Pargat CTO at Codebrew Labs. Thanks for watching and good luck building smart. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. You won't want to miss what's coming next.